me it's an experience of a feeling, I think, first, and a want and a yearning, a desire for something, and then, yeah, I guess the brain comes into function after that, and, you know, you'll, you'll use your past experiences, but um, you can actually make yourself new goals and um, new ambitions and have action steps towards those things, so it's an ambition to me. And my ambition starts off like an idea and then it drops into the pool then you're actioning it and the ripples keep flowing and you keep dropping and it's flowing and it's flowing so you're creating the ambition and as you're reaching those goals you're creating more so I think ambition is a, is a way of life in our culture the nothingness in return gave everything and so ambition is everything that we are. So why do you think you're this way? You think it's part of, it comes from your culture? We are, we're, we're given certain techniques that you can use within yourself to find your place. Ambition to me is like a calling. I think more we're learning um, that it's intuitive even though um, we've learnt a lot from who we're with and all our surroundings as babies, as infants and um, those things all trigger um, maybe that something's got to be different or who am I and all of this and that's probably a lot of our search and in, you know, in our physical being and the way that we are in this world and what we can deliver eh, and what we can contribute. Contribution. Mm. Yeah. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? I think, yeah, talking about it because we get quite... Um, like the reason why we're here in Rangitoki and we're so connected to it, like we always come back to this place, it is like a pakeke thing which we discussed with um, Merikaraka and I can often go back, like I can see the faces of my great great grandparents and their ambitions and the things that they did with Rungwa and healing and I can see like themselves and me now and healing and health and that's a part of why we're on this health journey and you just you just don't even know why but I think it comes from yeah from them and them and them and them and then it's like oh gosh is that what happened to me and then you realize that's your trigger but your trigger like can also like say a fun got an unwellness it can actually come from generations back but once I link to that trigger I'm like oh so my purpose is to now make myself as well as possible so that when you know for our next generations we're passing on wellness so I think yeah in that respect um, it would be, the ambition would be like enduring the change and also inducing a change for somebody else. So we talk about Modi and that Modi is put forth and then it rises when the time is right. So I think we all tend, we can tend to be a bit hard on ourselves and realise that timing is also important and you'll be called to that timing in that place. When we limit ourselves, we don't, we don't see the impact we make. And ambition ensures that we are, we're on a path to wellness and to wholeness. And in truth, that's the what we all are, we're all one, we're all whole, we're all love and we all deserve to be loved.